Here are some examples of how we can use information processing in the classroom. Good morning class, welcome to math class. Can you guys please come in, take your coats off, take a seat, open to page 43, take out a new pencil, take out a red crayon, a green crayon, a blue crayon, and uh, your eraser. When you get to page to page, point to number 10, and uh, sounds like this teacher forgot about selective attention. These students are not going to remember all these directions. Remember, short-term memory can only hold seven plus or minus two things. Plus, it's got to be a little more interesting to keep attention. Good morning, class. Welcome to math class. I need you guys to get to your seats and take out your math books. You'll find the page number on the board. When you get to the page, you'll see the directions for what materials you need to take out. If you have any questions, please ask. All right, class, we're going to learn about order of operations today. So when you're doing order of operations, you start with parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication, then division, then addition, then subtraction. Repeat that again after me. Now, rehearsal may have its place in the classroom, but for a case like this, we really want to, we really want to try encoding. Um, encoding will give true learning, will really help you remember something, and in this case, we may use a, a mnemonic. Right, I know we've already worked on order of operations before, but I wanted to teach you guys a little trick to remember the order, and the way we learn it is by saying PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Each of those letters stands for one of the problems you're going to do in that order, so we'll always just remember PEMDAS when we need to do order of operations. Created using Powtoon.